My name's Jackson, I am a drag queen, and I am a selfie addict. Social media has become a really big part of our industry, and it's very important for us as drag queens to be involved in that, because the kids of nowadays, they're obsessed with social media, and they need to be obsessed with us. I run around the bar and take a selfie with as many people as I, as I can. Who are you if you're not uploading a picture of yourself in a nightclub, you know? We're not in 1955. My upbringing was definitely uh, very sheltered. My parents didn't allow me the chance to go out onto the streets until kind of the age of 13. My upbringing was so sheltered that by the time I did go and play outside, I was very different to the rest of them. But walking around the area I live in, um, I choose to not walk around this area because I am quite self-conscious about the way I dress. Selfies definitely built my confidence back up. There's no kind of one particular look that I like to go for. This one is uh, completely hand crystal by myself which has taken me a long time. It's for a big upcoming show that I have. I'm gonna be performing my new single while I'm there as well, which I'm really excited about. So the song that I'm currently recording is all about self-reassurance and you know being really cocky and arrogant and like chasing boys that you like. There's been a lot of pressure on me in recent months to have some kind of live element to my act. Tell me how you want it. I'll give it to you just like that. The aim of it is to make me a bigger star and to you know push my name out to more people that don't know me yet. Bad, bad boy with a big toy. Building up to obviously a huge performance I've got coming up. Um, a wig is, you know, for a drag queen, it's essential, you know, to a look. It's probably the most important part. Ooh, I always wanted to dye my hair this colour growing up. Most of these wigs are not usually my kind of style. The British drag queens are quite messy. And they'll buy like the little shittiest five pound wig. You know, that's why I feel like I stand out on the British drag scene because most of the queens here are very, not ugly, but you know, let me take a selfie. Perfection doesn't just come like that, you know? It takes hours and hours of work. It's one thing to go on stage as a performer and, you know, just perform other people's material. But to go up there and perform your own material is um, very scary. It's a very scary thing to do, being a performance artist. It's a lot of pressure. Um, because there's not a lot of drag queens that have 20,000 Instagram followers. Since I became a drag queen, like my Instagram has just blown up and it does make me feel famous. And that's why I'm so nervous about performing my single. So it's a gamble, but it's going to be worth it. God, it's the most busted I've ever looked. I'm absolutely petrified. I really hope it's going to go down really well and people are going to love it. But, um, you know, you never know what to expect. The audience is fucking wild. They're having such a great time and you know, I have a great time when they have a great time. Not a lot of queens get the reputation, you know, I don't want a fresh shade, but the queen that's standing on the door right now is someone that's supposed to be, be above me. You know, she's on the door and I'm performing inside, so huh, bitch. I love to be the center of attention. I absolutely love to be the person that everyone in the room is looking at. And I love the glamour and I love the vanity that comes with drag. I am never someone that gives up on anything that I put my effort into and you know if it doesn't work I'm just gonna get back up and do it again you know. I think my favourite thing about taking selfies is the love that I usually get back it makes me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a performer. Uh.